Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Ubuntu 22.04 LTS versus Linux Mint 21, which is the better Linux distro. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. Well, before we start with our comparison, there is a question that comes into mind that why do we need to compare Ubuntu with Linux Mint? Well, Ubuntu and Linux Mint are such and those Linux distributions that are used by most of the beginners that comes to Linux distributions. And that is why we are going to see that which one is better in some particular circumstances. So first of all, let's start with Ubuntu and I'll start with the desktop environment. Well, Ubuntu comes with Genome desktop environment by default and as you can see, it's a very sleek and gives you a modern look. Not only that, it has dock that on the sidebar and from here you have enough size of your icon that you can choose. And because of that, Ubuntu is very supportive on your tab and on your touch screens as well. Because you have enough space and enough icon size to use your Ubuntu on such screens. And not only that, here you have your application button that you can click and it will give you very brief view of all the applications that are installed and available in your system at a particular time. Now, not only that, at the top you get quick menu. If you just click on it, you can do different operations from here. Like you can have your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth connections, your power options, then you have your settings in which you can customize your system you can have your lock option and obviously the power option just like any other operating system out there. And at the top in the middle, you have your date, time and you have all the notifications in here. Other than this, Genome offers you different workspaces. For example, if you press your super key or if you click on this show applications button and in case if you do not know what super key is, it's a windows button on your laptop. So I'll click on this show applications button Genome offer you to have different workspaces just like this one. As you can see, we have two of them by default. So if I just click on this one and if I open my terminal and now again, if I click on my show applications button and let's go to the second workspace in here. As you can see, we do not have our terminal in this one. Let's open our files. After opening our files, I'll again click on my show applications button, which is right here. As you can see, now we have one more. So you can open any other applications in here and you can click on show application button and it will give you more desktop or more workspace in here. Why is that so? Well, this feature allows you to have your separate applications opened in separate workstation and it helps you to keep your focus on one thing at a time. Let's say you have your files, your terminal, your app store, your Mozilla Firefox, all of them open in one window. It will be very difficult to keep your focus on one of them. So because of having different workspaces, now you can work separately in separate windows on separate applications. So that is a really cool feature. So that was all about the desktop environment of Ubuntu. Now let's talk about the desktop environment of our Linux Mint. Well, this is our Linux Mint and this is how it looks like. And it uses Cinnamon. And Cinnamon is one of the most selling point of Linux Mint. And if you see here, we have some of the applications on our desktop. Then at the bottom, we have our application menu. And it is just like a Windows 7. So if you remember, if you have used Windows 7, its menu just looked like this one. Even if you are a newbie, the layout of all the applications and menu gives you all the information that how you can use this system. So it will not take you a lot of time in terms of understanding the system layout and how you can use that. For example, here you have all the categories of applications. For example, if you go into Office, here on the right side, it gives you all the applications that are related to Office. Same goes for sounds and video, system tools, administration, preferences, and many other categories. So it's very easy to use. But at the same time, as we have seen that in terms of Ubuntu, it is very supportive for the tablets and touch screens. That is not the case with Linux Mint because the icon size is very small and there is not a lot of spacing between each category. So it will not be as easy to use Linux Mint onto your tablets and onto your touch screens, but still you can use it somehow. So this is one of the difference between desktop environment. Other than that, just like Ubuntu, 
you have your sum of the quick menus in here you have your time date and notifications at the left side and you have some other widgets in here you do not get a lot of options just like you did in your ubuntu in the quick menu at the top bar other than that if you just click on this application menu button you get all the power options and some of the system applications onto your menu button other than that you can customize your linux mint cinnamon as well just right click on it you can click on customize and it will allow you to have some of the customization options in terms of your desktop you can change your theme you can change the accent color as well for that purpose what you need to do you just need to search for themes and just click on it you have different themes available as you can see we have whole list of different themes that we can go with same goes for your applications mouse pointer and desktop other than that you can add and remove different themes you have different settings related to it and many more. So this was a brief introduction in terms of the desktop environment about Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Now let's move on to the next one. Now I'll talk about the additional flavors. Well in terms of Ubuntu we get a lot of options like we get Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Baji, Ubuntu Mate, Xubuntu etc. Kubuntu comes with KDE, Xubuntu comes with XFCE, Ubuntu Mate comes with Mate desktop environment. So other than these, there are many other Ubuntu flavors that you can go with. And if we talk about Linux Mint, well, Linux Mint comes with Mate, KDE and XFCE flavors. So it's all up to you that with which one you want to go and which one you want to use. Now let's talk about the target audience. Well, in terms of Ubuntu, desktops, servers, supercomputers and Internet of Things are some of the areas where you can use Ubuntu and that is not the case with linux mint in linux mint it is always better to use it on the desktop but if you talk about using it on the server supercomputers etc it is not a good choice now let's talk about the app store so let me open the app store of my ubuntu well you will be surprised to know that both ubuntu and linux mint have almost same app store because both of them are from debian and they have wide range of softwares that you can download and install this is how the app store of Ubuntu looks like. It gives you a look of a modern, sophisticated and well polished app store and something that is very latest. From here you can download different applications, different softwares and there is one thing that is related to app store of Ubuntu and that is in Ubuntu we get snap package manager as well and this was one of the very reason that a lot of big giants like microsoft google chrome slack etc they have started to develop and release their packages in snap because ubuntu has started to support snap and it was one of the big change in recent time in terms of the ubuntu for example here you can see i have searched for slack in here and in terms of downloading it you have different source so you can say that this is one of the highlights in terms of ubuntu software center and now let's talk about the linux mint well as i have mentioned earlier that the software center of ubuntu and linux mint are same because both of them are based on debian but if we talk about the difference well it uses flat packs and snaps as well other than that if we talk about its interface or about its looks well it likes very clean very well balanced and very well thought out interface well in your case it might not look like something very polished very sophisticated and state of the art but still it works and it offers you everything that you can look for in any linux distribution down here you have different categories you can go with for example if you want to download something related to your games graphics programming you just need to click on the category and you are good to go for example i have clicked on programming so here i will get everything that is available related to programming like java php python essentials etc so that was all about the app store and now let's move on to the next thing the next thing that i want to talk to you about is performance well performance is one such thing that is very dependent on the hardware resources that are available to you because ubuntu and linux mint requires different kind of hardware resources for installation and because of that performance depend on that as well but overall if we talk about ubuntu Ubuntu is very good, very responsive and it performs really well if you have average hardware resources available to you. On the other hand, if we talk about Linux Mint, well, it's a very responsive Linux distribution and it does not require you to have very high sophisticated hardware resources. Even if you have laptops or system, 
with average hardware resources, it will work pretty fine and it will work very fast. Well, the difference between hardware resources, we'll talk about it, but at the end of this video. Now let's talk about the stability. Well, in terms of Ubuntu, Ubuntu gets LTS releases. It means you get to have support for five years. Yes, you do get some of the updates after every six months, but it doesn't mean you have to upgrade your Ubuntu after every six months. You just need to install latest security packages and latest updates, and your Ubuntu will have the support for five years. That is not the case with Linux Mint. In Linux Mint, you get to have only two year of support officially, and that is where you can say that Ubuntu is more stable other than Linux Mint. Now we are done with almost every comparison. At the end, I'll talk about some of the differences between both of these Linux distributions. So as we know, the first thing is desktop manager. Ubuntu uses Gnome desktop environment, and on the other hand, Linux Mint uses Cinnamon. And in terms of the system requirements, well, Ubuntu require you to have at least four gigabytes of RAM, and only then you'll be able to have sophisticated performance out of it. And that is one of the reason that in terms of performance, Ubuntu may lag if you have not enough resources or if you have old laptop or machine. But on the other hand, Linux Mint only needs you to have 2 GB of RAM for the installation. And because of that, even if you have old laptop or computer, Linux Mint will work pretty fine. And now let's talk about the community and cost. Well, both of these Linux distributions are free to use and you do not have to pay even a single penny. But in terms of community and support, there is a big difference. Because in Ubuntu, you get community support and forums as well. As you can see, this is Ubuntu community. And from here, you can have almost every kind of support that you need in terms of having your solution for your problem. And not only that, you have Ubuntu forums. Here, you will find different pro users of Ubuntu and you can post any question in here and you can get all the answers of your problem. And not only that, community and forums for Ubuntu is well matured and very well sophisticated. So you will get everything that you might need in terms of your Ubuntu. But if we talk about Linux Mint, Linux Mint is also free. But in terms of community and its support, it is there, but it is not well sophisticated and not as much matured as Ubuntu. And because of that, I would say that Ubuntu is business friendly as it has more support and it has a big forum that is always there to support you. So that is why I would not recommend you to use Linux Mint for your business use. And now let's talk about the customization. Well, as we know that there are many Linux distributions out there that are based on Ubuntu. And because of that, Ubuntu is well customizable Linux distributions. And because of that, we can say that Ubuntu is more customizable and it offers you to do a lot of things. But that is not the case with Linux Mint. Yes, you can customize it, but only up to some extent. At the end, I'll talk about gaming. Well, as we know that Steam is one of those platforms where you can buy and play different games. So question is, is Steam supported for Ubuntu and Linux Mint? Well, yes, Steam is available both in Linux Mint and Ubuntu. In terms of Ubuntu, it has a great support and great compatibility. On the other hand, if we talk about the Linux Mint, it does have Steam available in the software center, but it is not as compatible with Linux Mint. Yes, there are some Linux distributions that are specifically designed for gaming purposes, but as we are comparing Ubuntu with Linux Mint, I would say that Ubuntu is the winner. So these were some of the differences between both of these Linux distribution and at the end, if I were to conclude, I would say that if you are a new beginner and if you only want to use your Linux distribution onto your desktop, then go with Linux Mint as it has the Windows 7 like layout. You will be able to use everything and it is very self explanatory as well. But if you want to use a Linux distribution for your servers or for a supercomputer or for Internet of Things, then I would recommend you to stick with Ubuntu because Ubuntu offer you more stability. It has more support, more community and mature community. And not only that, it offers you more flavors than Linux Mint. And we have also seen that it is more customizable than Linux Mint. But at the end, it's all up to you that how you want to go and with which one you want to pursue your Linux career. That's it for this video from my side. And I hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this one. And you must have come to a conclusion that with which one 
you want to go and which one is better if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you want to suggest me something or if you want to ask something please leave a comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care